Your kidneys are two remarkable organs, each about the size of your fist, performing an extraordinary task every single day. They filter approximately 180 liters of blood daily, which translates to roughly 45 gallons. This means your entire blood volume gets filtered about 20 to 25 times each day, tirelessly removing waste products and maintaining the delicate balance your body needs to survive. But when sugar repeatedly floods your system, these vital organs face a challenge they were never designed to handle for extended periods. The damage happens silently, without warning signs, until it's often too late. What if 30 days without sugar could begin reversing damage you didn't even know existed? The relationship between sugar and your kidneys is more complex than most people realize. When you consume sugary foods or beverages, glucose rapidly enters your bloodstream, creating a spike your kidneys must immediately address. Inside each kidney are approximately 1 million microscopic filtering units called nephrons, each containing a glomerulus where filtration occurs. When blood glucose remains elevated over time, particularly in diabetes or prediabetes, these delicate structures can develop glomerular hyperfiltration. This sounds beneficial, but it's similar to running your car engine at maximum speed constantly. Research published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology shows that glomerular hyperfiltration is an independent risk factor for accelerated kidney function loss and progression to chronic kidney disease. If you're new here and care about your health, you're in exactly the right place. We're building a community of people who want real, science-based information they can trust. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss our content. Before we continue, drop a comment telling us which country you're watching from. We love seeing our global community come together. Your journey to understanding your body better starts right here, right now. The first 72 hours after quitting sugar can feel surprisingly difficult. Many people experience headaches that range from mild to severe, mood swings that seem to appear from nowhere, and cravings that feel almost overwhelming. Your brain has become accustomed to quick glucose hits for energy, and when that fuel source suddenly disappears, it protests loudly. You might feel irritable, fatigued, or even slightly foggy. These symptoms are temporary, typically lasting less than a week, but they're very real. However, while your conscious experience struggles with this transition, something entirely different is happening inside your kidneys. The moment your sugar intake drops significantly, the pressure on your kidney filtration system begins to decrease almost immediately. Scientific research has demonstrated that reducing sugar consumption lowers the concentration of molecules called advanced glycation end products, commonly abbreviated as AGEs. These compounds form when sugars bond with proteins in your bloodstream through a process called glycation. AGEs are particularly problematic because they accelerate aging in kidney tissues, contribute to inflammation, and promote scarring. Within just a few days of sugar elimination, your bloodstream begins clearing these harmful molecules, and your kidneys start operating with noticeably greater efficiency. The discomfort you experience on the surface is temporary and manageable. The relief your kidneys feel begins on day one and continues building throughout the entire month and beyond. Understanding how sugar damages your kidneys requires looking at what happens at the cellular level. Think about a coffee filter for a moment. When you pour clean water through it, the filter performs perfectly, separating what you want from what you don't. But imagine pouring thick, sticky syrup through that same filter repeatedly. Eventually, it would clog weaken and lose its ability to function properly. This analogy captures what happens inside your nephrons when you consume high amounts of sugar regularly. The glomeruli in your kidneys act as biological filters, but unlike coffee filters you can simply replace, you only get the nephrons you're born with. Every time sugar causes those filters to work overtime, microscopic damage accumulates. Studies from Harvard Medical School researchers have found that individuals with high added sugar intake face significantly elevated risks of developing chronic kidney disease. The most frightening aspect of this research is that kidney damage accumulates silently over decades. 
A healthy person in their 20s or 30s consuming excessive sugar today might not experience any symptoms until their 50s or 60s. By that point, kidney function may have already declined by 50 to 70 percent. Most people don't discover they have kidney problems until they're already facing serious, often irreversible damage. High sugar consumption doesn't just affect your blood glucose levels. It creates a cascade of metabolic changes that directly impact your kidney's ability to regulate fluid balance in your body. When you eat too much sugar, your insulin levels spike in response. This is your pancreas's attempt to help cells absorb glucose from your bloodstream. But insulin does something else that many people don't realize. It signals your kidneys to retain more sodium and water than they normally would. Scientific studies published in the American Journal of Physiology have shown that insulin directly stimulates sodium reabsorption in multiple segments of the kidney's tubular system. The result is elevated blood pressure, uncomfortable bloating, and tremendous strain on the delicate blood vessels within your kidneys. This mechanism explains why people who regularly consume large amounts of sugar often complain about feeling puffy, swollen, and exhausted. Their kidneys are literally holding on to extra water, desperately trying to maintain some balance amid the metabolic chaos that excessive sugar creates in the bloodstream. The beautiful part of this story is what happens when you remove sugar from the equation. Within just a couple of weeks of sugar elimination, this water retention pattern begins to reverse itself. Blood pressure measurements tend to decrease, sometimes quite dramatically, the kidneys suddenly find it much easier to maintain proper fluid and electrolyte balance without constant metabolic interference. Kidney stones represent one of the most painful medical conditions someone can experience, and sugar plays a more significant role in their formation than most people realize. When asked what causes kidney stones, most people immediately think about not drinking enough water or consuming too much salt. While dehydration and sodium intake certainly contribute, research published in Frontiers in Nutrition has revealed that sugar is a hidden culprit that often goes unrecognized. High sugar consumption increases the amount of calcium that gets excreted into your urine. When urinary calcium concentrations become elevated, it creates an ideal environment for crystal formation. Initially, these crystals are microscopic and harmless, but over time, they can aggregate and harden into kidney stones. The study analyzed data from over 28,000 adults and found that individuals who received more than 25% of their total daily calories from added sugars had an 88% higher risk of developing kidney stones compared to those who kept their added sugar intake below 5% of daily calories. This isn't just about obvious sugar sources like soda and candy. Many foods marketed as healthy options, including certain fruit juices, flavored yogurts, and granola products, contain shocking amounts of hidden added sugars. The statistics surrounding kidney stones are sobering. Once a person experiences their first kidney stone, their likelihood of developing another increases substantially. Many people describe passing a kidney stone as one of the most excruciating experiences of their lives, with some comparing it to childbirth. But here's the encouraging part of this research. Within just 30 days of eliminating added sugars from your diet, the chemical composition of your urine begins to improve measurably. The concentrations of stone-forming substances decrease, and your risk of new stone formation drops accordingly. Imagine enduring just one month of dietary discipline in exchange for potentially avoiding years of excruciating pain, emergency room visits, and medical complications. Your kidneys possess a limited but genuine capacity for self-repair, and this is where the science becomes truly exciting. When you reduce sugar intake dramatically, systemic inflammation throughout your body decreases, which allows those tiny nephrons to begin recovering function they may have lost. Picture a city where roads have been constantly damaged by excessive traffic and heavy loads for years. Potholes develop everywhere, surfaces crack and deteriorate, and infrastructure gradually crumbles. But when the overwhelming traffic suddenly stops, construction crews can finally perform the necessary maintenance and repairs. Your kidneys operate on remarkably similar principles. 
When the constant assault from sugar finally ceases, your body can redirect its resources and healing mechanisms toward kidney restoration. One of the earliest measurable signs of this recovery process is a reduction in protein leakage into the urine, which doctors call proteinuria. Healthy kidneys keep proteins in your bloodstream where they belong, performing essential functions. But damaged kidneys allow proteins to slip through the filtration barrier and appear in urine. This leakage serves as a red flag, indicating that your kidney's filtering system has been compromised. Multiple studies have shown that when sugar consumption drops significantly, proteinuria often decreases, demonstrating that the filtration barrier is actively strengthening and repairing itself. This improvement isn't some mystical or magical process. It's straightforward biology and physiology. By stepping away from sugar, you provide your kidneys with the conditions and resources they desperately need to heal themselves. Diabetes and kidney disease share an intimate, devastating relationship that begins with sugar. Uncontrolled diabetes stands as one of the leading causes of kidney failure worldwide, and dietary sugar plays a central role in both development and progression of this disease. When blood glucose remains consistently elevated, it damages microscopic blood vessels throughout your kidneys through diabetic necropathy. This kidney damage is progressive, often irreversible, and can lead to complete kidney failure requiring dialysis or transplantation. Research in diabetes care shows that 30-day sugar elimination can significantly improve insulin sensitivity. When people quit sugar, their bodies typically require less insulin to handle glucose, which simultaneously protects both your pancreas and kidneys. Scientists have discovered that even moderate reductions in sugar intake can substantially lower the risk of progressing from pre-diabetes to type 2 diabetes. Chronic sugar consumption ignites inflammation throughout your entire body, not just in obvious places like your expanding waistline or visible weight gain, but deep inside your organs where you cannot see, feel, or measure it without medical testing. Elevated blood sugar triggers a biological process called oxidative stress, which inflames kidney tissues and makes them increasingly vulnerable to permanent scarring. Once significant scar tissue forms inside your kidneys, that damage becomes permanent and irreversible. Kidney function begins declining and there's no way to restore what has been lost. But the encouraging news from research published in journals like Circulation is that within 30 days of eliminating added sugars, inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein begin falling measurably in blood tests. Lower systemic inflammation means substantially less ongoing damage to blood vessels and kidney tissues, which preserves their filtering ability for years or even decades longer than would otherwise be possible. This reduction in inflammation brings unexpected additional benefits that extend far beyond kidney health alone. Many people report dramatically clearer skin, fewer and less severe headaches, more stable and consistent energy levels throughout the day, and improved mental clarity. These tangible improvements serve as evidence that kidney health connects intimately and inseparably with overall body wellness. If you think of inflammation as rust slowly corroding metal components in a machine, removing sugar from your diet significantly slows that corrosive process. This gives your kidneys a realistic chance to last longer, function more efficiently, and remain healthier throughout your entire lifespan. You might reasonably wonder whether just 30 days without sugar can truly make a meaningful, measurable difference to your kidney health. The scientific answer, based on multiple research studies, is an emphatic and unqualified yes. While chronic kidney damage certainly takes years or even decades to accumulate to dangerous levels, improvements in kidney stress markers can begin appearing within mere weeks of dietary changes. Blood pressure measurements decrease, protein leakage into urine lessens, overall filtration efficiency improves measurably through medical testing, even your urine itself may change, sometimes becoming noticeably clearer as it reflects reduced waste overload on your kidneys. These small but significant physiological changes demonstrate conclusively that your kidneys are stabilizing and beginning their recovery process. It's critically important to understand that 30 days doesn't represent the finish line of this health journey. Instead, it serves as the starting point, like a trial period that shows you exactly how powerful and transformative sugar-free living can become. 
Once you personally experience the difference in your energy levels, mood stability, sleep quality, and overall sense of physical wellness, the fundamental question naturally transforms from, can I do this? To, why would I ever willingly go back to feeling the way I used to feel? The final truth that might surprise you most of all is this. The majority of people who commit to eliminating sugar for 30 days notice benefits so profound, tangible, and life-changing that they voluntarily choose not to return to their previous eating patterns when the month ends. Long-term scientific studies published in major medical journals consistently support this decision with compelling statistical evidence. Individuals who maintain low-sugar diets throughout their adult lives demonstrate significantly lower risks of kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and overall mortality compared to their sugar-consuming counterparts. Your kidneys don't just benefit during that initial 30-day experimental period. They continue benefiting, healing, and functioning better for your entire lifetime when sugar intake remains minimized or eliminated. Every single day you successfully avoid added sugars represents another day of protection against a potential future spent connected to dialysis machines three times weekly. The occasional celebratory treat on special occasions certainly won't destroy your kidney function overnight, but daily excess consumption of added sugars absolutely will damage your kidneys slowly, silently, and progressively until the damage becomes undeniable and often irreversible. That's the real message, the fundamental truth at the heart of this entire discussion. Moderation provides meaningful protection. Complete elimination facilitates active healing and regeneration. After 30 days without sugar, the science speaks clearly, unambiguously, and encouragingly. Your kidneys will thank you today, tomorrow, next month, next year, and for every year thereafter that you maintain control over your sugar intake. If this video was helpful, kindly type yes in the comment. That motivates us to produce more content like this. Don't forget to hit that like button to help others discover this information, share this video with someone who needs to hear this message, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss content that could genuinely transform your health and your life. Thank you so much for watching, for caring about your health, and for being part of our community. Here's to your kidney health and lifelong wellness.